you know those little widget at the bottom of the website where when you click on that button you have the option to message your facebook page so in this video i'll be showing you how you can add this facebook messenger widget inside your funnel builder right so stay tuned Hi, my name is Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. And if you're interested in topics like digital marketing entrepreneurship, do consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, before I jump to my computer, uh, well, this is a, a simple tutorial where you have to go to your Facebook page and get the widget code and put it inside your ClickFunnels. And I'll be showing all this process in my computer later on. So, let's go. Before I go into how to do it in Facebook, uh, let me just show you how it looks like. So this is for example one of my page and then you see that there is a small little widget here. So in, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install this widget from Facebook itself to the ClickFunnels account. So yeah, let's go. Let's go to the Facebook chat plugin and have a look. Alright, as I shown in my page just now, this is how you can add that chat widget in your website uh, at the bottom right or whichever that's comfortable for you. So I will put this link inside my description box as well. You can go and have a look if you want to read more about it. This is from Facebook itself and it is a bit more complicated there's a lot of like programming things but i guess that's the reason why you're here so that you can learn to install it easier so uh, let me just show you how you can do it right so next is uh, you just have to go to your facebook page then this is this is as about my page all you have to do is just go to the settings then you see there's a few things here just all you have to choose is go to uh, messaging and at the bottom you see that there is a add messenger to your website then you just click get started so you just read through, you want to read through, add messenger to your website, right? Meet your web customer where they are and this like that. So as you can see, there's a messenger bar here. Let's just click next. There you can see it's here. So you can continue as um, myself or continue as guest and then you can just chat directly inside the page, right? So this is how it is previewed. You can uh, change your greeting accordingly, right? Um, so you can allow guest chat. If not, you must let people uh, opt in their Facebook, um, which is good as well so that you can know uh, who messaged you. This is how the mobile preview will look like. Right, you'll be here. So you close it, it'll be small here. So when people uh, come here, they'll automatically see it here. So click next. So there's the custom colors. So you can pick the colors that you want. It can be light blue. Let me see my page is blue. If you want other color as well, it's also alright. You can choose like any other lighter color. It all depends on you. So if you change this color, you'll be like this. Right? Blue, you'll be like this. Right? Whichever that, that suits your brand. Right? So you can be left and right. That's the desktop preview. Keep it left, alright. You can check the bottom spacing, spacing, and automatically expand. So I, I do not want them to expand straight away. I want them to see the content, so I just switch it off. So when people reach the website, they can see the button, but they do not see it expanded straight away. Like just now, when we go to mobile preview, it's straight away open. I don't want that to happen. Okay, now I'll click next. So these are the code, right? Now the, the thing you have to take note is you have to add the website domain. If you do not add the website domain, they will there are going to be a problem where you're not able to see it or it won't appear so you need to copy the code exactly so you just have to put the domain right and there's another one right then you just save i'll add this code to the website so this is the code that i'll add so i just have to copy the code next you go to click finance account right as you can see this is the landing page that i have been up running and yeah i know some of you actually opt in which is great but i have not done the back end really well yet so stay tuned on that so okay let me just preview first for now you don't see it here right so just just leave it as it as it is so you don't have to go settings and go to seo and uh, no, go tracking code sorry then just place a code in the header code right close it then you save now if you notice when you preview preview is still under click funnels the link that's the reason why you cannot see it so the only way you can see it is when you just go to the website itself click on the checklist click on it and there you can see this here right you can hide it so you can adjust it to left or right up and down it's all up to you i think i put it a bit higher so that it don't mess with my click funnels logo uh, all these settings can be done here so let's go back i want to align in desktop bottom spacing I want it to be a bit higher so this is 24 maybe 2 to 50 next finish done every time you want to come here you just have to go to the settings messaging go to add messenger to your site get started and then all you have to do is just refresh and then you see here yeah you see it's increased right so uh, let's just see how it goes like uh, for example i just chat here you can see the chat history is here so for example i send a message so uh, i have an automatic message it's up to you whether you want to have it or not so you can see it appear in the messaging here 
then you can reply through your Facebook page itself. Right? So yeah, that's it. That's how you can easily uh, install the Facebook Messenger widget at your landing page or any of your page that you want in ClickFunnels. Yep, that's it. That's how you can easily add a Facebook Messenger widget inside your ClickFunnels account. The, the procedure is nearly the same in even in WordPress, but just that putting code in WordPress is just another plugin and things you need to use, right? I hope this video is useful for you. And if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to this channel. This channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. And if you like this video, do consider liking the video. Feel free to comment in the comment section below. Look in my description box. Uh, my social media platform is all there. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And with that, thank you very much for watching and i see you in my next video. Goodbye!